cap rates are the cornerstone of valuing multifamily real estate. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what a cap rate is, how to use a cap rate, and where to find cap rate data. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss more videos about building wealth through multifamily real estate. And if you don't know me, I'm Seth Ferguson, a 13-year real estate veteran, host of a real estate TV show, host of a real estate investing podcast, and I'm also the author of the real estate book, Sell For More. So let's get right into it and let's talk about cap rates and explain everything you need to know about cap rates. To start things off, let's first cover what a cap rate is. A cap rate is the ratio between the NOI, the net operating income of a property, and the property's value. And if you're not sure what NOI is, uh, check out the link right up here to a video I did explaining everything you need to know about NOI's net operating income. So a cap rate is the ratio between the NOI and the value of the property. So essentially it's how much is a buyer willing to pay or how much is the market pricing or willing to pay for each dollar of NOI the property produces. A common misconception is that a cap rate is a multiple. It's not a multiple, but an inverse of a multiple. Let me show you what I mean. So if you're a fan of the TV show Shark Tank or Dragon's Den, you'll often hear the sharks talking in terms of multiples. So they'll say, okay, well you have X, uh, X revenue, so I'm going to pay you a 10X multiple on that. And that's how I'm going to arrive at the valuation of your company. Cap rates are a little bit different. So on this graph, uh, I'm going to draw have, uh, the two axes here. So on this axis here, I'm going to have the cap rate. And right here, I'm going to have the multiple. So uh, this graph is going to look like a upside down hockey stick. Usually the hockey stick goes this way. So basically what this is showing is the, the higher the cap rate, the lower the multiple paid. And the lower the cap rate, the higher the multiple paid on the NOI. So basically the market is paying more for every dollar produced of NOI for this property. So for example, a five cap or 5% capitalization rate equals a 20X multiple, but a 10 cap equals a 10X multiple. So basically all you have to do is keep in mind the lower the cap rate, the more paid for each dollar produced of NOI for that property. Now that we've covered what a cap rate is, now we have to cover how we use a cap rate. And how we use a cap rate in commercial real estate and multifamily real estate is called the income approach. And I'll put a link right up here to a video I did uh, walking you through the income approach. But basically how we use a cap rate is we have to use the income approach formula. And that formula is NOI. You can tell NOI is very important in commercial real estate. Divide by your cap rate equals the value of the property. So let's take an example. Uh, let's say we have a property that produces uh, $1 million of NOI and we have a cap rate of 5%. So all we do in this case is we take the NOI of 1 million, we divide it by the cap rate of 5% and that gives us a valuation for the property of $20 million. The reason is commercial property is valued based on the income the property produces. Now the cap rate you're going to use is going to vary uh, based on the location of the property, uh, the class of property. So a class A is going to be different from a class C property, et cetera, et cetera. But generally speaking, when we're valuing property using what's called the income approach, all we do is we take the NOI divided by the cap rate and that's, that's going to give us the value of the property. Now we know what a cap rate is, we know how to use it in the income approach, but where do we find cap rates? Well, you'll often hear uh, people talk about market caps. Now, what is a market cap? It's basically the prevailing cap rate at which properties are trading in a given market. So let's say you have a handful of properties and they've all traded between, uh, let's say a uh, four and a half cap and a five cap. You're, you may have a market cap of like 4.75, 4.8, somewhere around there. So you know as a buyer that the market is valuing the NOI produced by these properties at a 4.75 thereabouts cap rate. So where do you find this data? Well, uh, major brokerages uh, will release cap rate reports, market reports, uh, major analytics firms will also uh, release reports on a monthly, sometimes quarterly, uh, semi-annually, annual basis. Um, and because uh, these brokerages and these analytics companies, they're keeping a, 
keeping track of the market. They're monitoring all the different sales in the market. And they'll often include projections for where they feel that market is going. So as a buyer entering a market, or if you already have properties in that market, it's always good to keep track of where the major uh, brokerages are, are placing cap rates and where they see them heading because they're the ones working with the buyers, they're the ones working with the sellers, and they really have a good pulse on where that market is going. And if you're interested in learning more about multifamily real estate, join my free Facebook group. Uh, the link's right down below. It's a great group of people. Uh, join and uh, learn more about multifamily. And if you are an accredited investor and you're interested in learning more about the deals I'm currently looking at, head on over to callseth.com and set up a free 20 minute phone call. And if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, if you found this useful, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. And until next time, happy investing.